A report by a Jewish charity has found that more than 4,000 anti-Semitic incidents were recorded in the UK last year, and the majority took place after the October the 7th Hamas attacks. Well, joining us now is the author of Lily's Promise, Dov Foreman. Uh, uh, morning to you. Um, these figures, Dov, and very good to have you on the programme again, are shocking. Can I just read you something Danny Cohen has written in The Telegraph today about anti-Semitism? He says, in Hertfordshire, the head teacher of a Jewish school received this racist threat. Beware, jihad is being fought and you're going to have your throat slit by us. The threat also referred to beheadings. How common is this, is this sort of talk? As you say, this year we've seen the largest rise in anti-Semitism on records, uh, 147% increase on the previous year, and two-thirds of those anti-Semitic incidences came after the October 7th massacre by Hamas terrorists in Israel on October 7th. And that's incredibly worrying, the fact that we Jewish people knew on the day of the October 7th, when we were hearing about these atrocities unfolding, that perhaps even that day or in the days following, anti-Semitism would rise before there was even a response from Israel. And, you know, people disguise their anti-Semitism under the guise that they're just protesting against Israel or for a free Palestine. But that's not the case. People, there was a story only last week of a Jewish school student um, from one of the high schools going home and he was pinned against the wall, punched in the face and told to say free Palestine. And I think actually it's because of social media that we're seeing so many young children say things in schools to other students, to their teachers, which are plainly anti-Semitic and extremist. And they're not only anti-Semitic, but they're also anti-West. And it's incredibly dangerous, and I think so much more needs to be done. This report just sheds a light on the worries that all Jewish people knew to be true of the increase in anti-Semitism since October 7th, but in this year alone. Dov, we, we should make it clear, in case not everybody knows, that um, your great-grandmother is Lily Ebert, an Auschwitz survivor, 100 years old now. What does she make of this? What is her, what on earth is her reaction to it? For the Holocaust survivors, like my great grandmother, it's so difficult to see this anti-Semitism. My great grandmother hoped that the bow would never again would be upheld. Unfortunately, it hasn't. Jewish people once again feel unsafe on our streets, and we're not in the 1930s in Germany, but we're here in the United Kingdom. And the great litmus test of post-Holocaust emancipation was meant to be whether Jewish students like myself could wear a kippah and go onto university campus and learn in freedom and in safety like everyone else. And unfortunately, at the moment, in the United Kingdom, we're failing in that test. I'm the great-grandson, as you say, of a Holocaust survivor, and I don't feel safe sometimes on my own university campus here in London. Last Saturday night, some of my friends called me, and they said that they were walking to synagogue wearing kippah on Leeds University campus. They were walking towards the Hillel House. And someone screamed out of their window, are you Jewish? To which they replied, yes. And he tried to ram them. And that's the story in his telegraph. And that's what it feels like. And that's the reality of being a Jewish student today on campus, in schools, but also just being Jewish on our streets. Dove, I'm so, I'm so sorry. It's terrible. And so we've got to leave you as well because we're tired of time. But we are going to refer, return to this story mm. in the programme because these figures are shocking.